Good morning, guys. Hope you guys are all doing well. It is freezing right now. Like by California standards, what is it? It's 40 degrees in the morning right now, which is really cold. But I know what today's video is. I'm super excited. This is something that has been long overdue. If you guys are new to the channel, my buddy Sam is the one who has a 900 horsepower Evo 8, and he's been building it up over the past couple years. He's had a couple of mishaps. I was like, come on, Dougie. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, work faster. God, it is beautiful this morning. California, guys, even though it's overpriced, we pay way more in taxes than anybody else I could think of. It's a beautiful place to live. In all other seriousness, though, I did get some parts in for the Evo 9, and we will be doing some installation stuff very soon. I'm excited. I ordered my first package from STM. I've been in Evos for years. I've never ordered anything from STM before. Isn't that sad? It's like the biggest Evo website, or at least one of them. This area I live by is so cool when it's actually empty. Downtown is always so packed. But when it's like not Friday or Saturday night, it's really cool. Of course, I would hit the red light when I was, I'm trying to show you guys. This place would be so sick to take photos once the Evo actually looks cool, not stock. Literally my least favorite activity. Comment down below, guys. What city are you from? And what's your gas prices because these gas prices are crazy alrighty guys it's been hours later right now we are on the way to my buddy Sam my buddy Sam's house he finally gave me the shout and said I could come through he had to go handle something at the shop real quick I think with the customer car or something I'm very excited I want to talk you guys ear off let's just go see the car even on a Sunday guys no one is safe from the traffic even on a Sunday this is such a crazy sight to see, guys. I gotta share this with you. Pulling up to your homie's house, see the freaking parachute on the car. That's insane. This is crazy, guys. His neighbor's a tater. These are, these are like literally like the JDM like 8 MRC. Why do I feel like they're smaller? Yeah, are they, 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 are, are they, they nice, smaller? Bro. Oh, yeah, I was like, just a straight Evo.
that was insane. Did it feel bad? Yeah, that, that was pretty scary, dude. Really? <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Like, like you, you grabbed second to third, like, so quick. I was like, oh, so, like, it never felt like I was, like, not in the seat, you know? But then I saw the water, I was like, no! <laughs> Was it not finally after getting a film, you know? <laughs> like one oh. bullet. No, it's fine. You think so? Yeah. Oil pressure looks good. Oh man, that was yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> so Sam's catch can spit out a bunch of water. I know you guys saw it in the video. We pulled up so quick to this freaking ramen spot right here. Went up park, look at this. I was afraid he's gonna smash his intercooler. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> there was like five people outside just staring at us, pulling I know, up all right? crazy. They're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, what are you guys doing? Pulling up to Bob's Market. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no one likes the tuna here. Yeah. What's the retail on one of those? <laughs> So I went to go eat and I didn't really film anything because they're all of Sam's friends and I don't really know them like that and put them on the spot. But we had a little small, what do you want to call it? I wouldn't call it a mishap, just it made a mess on yeah, the way there. <laughs> the cash can, I didn't drain it so don't, don't me, it just popped the filter off and all the, whatever it was. The yeah, whatever was milk, in the cash can yeah, went everywhere. Water, some oil. 
But for everyone that doesn't know, this is my buddy Sam. He oh. owns the Evo shop. He built this car himself, in case you guys didn't know. It's a two liter mm -hmm. with a custom 64 mil precision yeah. turbo. Well, they, they, they sell it now. It's oh, do a, they? It's a 6470. Okay, well, when you got it, it was custom. Yeah. At, at the time. At the time, I think I was supposed to test it, but the car never ran mm. properly. So. Right. Yeah, now it runs, but I think... Now the clutch is done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. If you guys watch the video right now, I don't know if it was spinning or it was the clutch. It felt like it was spinning. I don't know. It could just be the clutch not engaging, like wanting to engage, but going off, on and off. Yeah. That's why it was vibrating. Right, right. You know, I'll, well, I'll and and you have a you have a built like front diff the TK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But still, though, it still should send it to the back. Like it, it would just spin the whole thing. I didn't see smoke either, so I don't know. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't smell any clutch either. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Is there a way to show them, like, what the boost gauge hits? Or do you have a clip of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could just go in here and then... Yeah? Yeah, you can see it. Cool. Yeah, yeah so that's that's crazy. So initially, what did you say? It was left at, like, 46, and you turned it up a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that that actually surprised me right now. If you guys see the video, I'm just like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah. And it, you've done a lot of pulls in it, no? Yeah, and I don't know. That was, like, the most violent one that I felt. You think so? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. It, it was pretty crazy. Yeah, and you're flat footing it. Yeah, and I missed fourth, but I think it was just because when I saw that, when I saw the radio pop out, I was like, "Oh crap!" And then I was like looking at it. I'm like, when I tried banging fourth, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, yeah. A quick overview, like what, like what internals you have and stuff. Uh, it's just off the shelf parts. So I put a stock crank back in because my Cali's went correct. Right. So it has a Carrillo, the Pro H rods. Uh huh. And the manly turbo tough pistons. Um, and it's a wet block. Yes, right? wet block. Wet block still sleeves. You know, I I don't know if, remember if you. Uh, saw it yeah, I remember, yeah. but a lot of people watching this probably like sleeve 4G63. Yeah, right? Like why why would you do that? <laughs> so what happened originally? Why we sleeved it? Well, one, it strength strengthens the block. Right. But that's not the reason why I did it on this one. It's because um, I went 85 and a half, and then. You know, I had toasted the piston. Went 86, but then when I had the O-rings done, the gasket that I had wasn't sealing properly, and then it kind of torched like the where the O-ring was. So I was like, "Damn, this block's junk." And then I was like talking to Mike, and he was like, "No, we could save it. We'll just leave it." And I'm like, "Oh, right. yeah, we could do that." So we sleeved it, went back down to 85 and a half. So now it's back to a 85 and a half. I would have done 85, but I didn't have 85 pistons in stock. Oh. So I just went 85 and a half. But yeah, if you guys have like 4G blocks that are like 86 or something and you think they're junk, like they might not be junk because you could just sleeve it and then go back down to 85 bore. Damn. Yeah. I don't ever know. It's expensive, that. but yeah. it's worth it. Like this block's been seen like what 900 horsepower. I don't even know what it makes now since it's making so much boost. But right, since so the boost is not the same. Yeah, but um, well, isn't it too like on a a stock like 4G wet block when you film with concrete you know people always use the concrete oh yeah you're, so. you're like reinforcing where the block doesn't need it exactly. if that makes sense you know yeah, like so. if you look at a 4G block yeah. <laughs> the sleeves you know the cylinder walls mm -hmm. is where it needs that rigidity yeah, it flexes so right now with the sleeve you know it's and the, iron is known to crack exactly. like if it flexes you know yeah so it's been holding and I have a I don't have it o-ring but since I have sleeves in it we step decked it oh okay so it acts like a what do you call a seal right there yeah, yeah. like and a it, fire ring or yeah, something exactly and it's holding 53 pounds of boost so that's insane oh, i also did the uh, head stud upgrade so the stock 4g is a 11 millimeter and we did a uh, 12 millimeter head studs nice and i'm you know usually they torque it to 100 for the csa 25s right i have the m12 uh, l19s and we're torquing it to 130 Oh wow! So that's another reason why it's probably holding the head and the block together. I never knew that. Yeah, so. that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, there's there's a lot of stuff, guys. I mean, th this could be like a 20 or 30 minute video if we really wanted it to, <laughs> just because you have like drive by wire from the oh, Evo yeah, 10. Oh yeah, everything's. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I remember your your coils. You did some kind of fancy wiring. Yeah. So in um in, instead of uh what's that the onion? I always forget. Uh, wasted spark. Wasted sparks. So yeah. Now we're sequential. So. And like these actually work as individual um, coil packs instead of like batch firing. So right. on the stock Evo, one and four fire at the same time, and yep. two and three fire at the same time. But now it's like individual, so it'll actually fire one, three, four, two instead right. of like just yeah. That's why some Evos like when they're cams, you hear like 
like it's chopping like brup, 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 and it goes because like sometimes it's firing the other cylinder right oh really before. yeah oh i never knew that yeah so if you ever hear a cam you was like like that like that's why it's doing it because of the bash fire because of the wow the ignition system yeah. i remember mike saying too like 40 percent of your spark goes down the exactly. drain with like a stock you yeah. know so that's why when you make high horsepower like you know it starts breaking up right yeah with this i mean it hasn't broke up on me um you know at 900 wheel horsepower yeah thousand at the crank yeah and then uh morrison fab hot parts right yes sir twin so tile morrison, gates twin yeah twin tile plasma man intake manifolds um custom intercooler piping with this custom intercooler by wisecraft csf radiator wisecraft catch can um a lot of parts. <laughs> oh, and a dog box. <laughs> yeah, PPG dog box. Um, drive shaft shop, uh, drive shaft, the carbon one. And yeah. And I have the front axles. I haven't put the rear ones on yet. I should before it blows up. <laughs> yeah, because that's the first thing to go. Like the axles, once they break, like it takes out the, the the pumpkin. Really? Yeah. So that's why, like, once you break a rear drive shaft, like it just snaps into the housing, and that's why they crack. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So the axle is more likely to break before you're actually uh rear diff because the rear diffs are pretty strong right yeah 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 and in general the drivetrain is pretty strong yeah. like Besides if you don't if you don't drag race it <laughs> oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah like if, if you don't, don't drag racing it. you just want to make power and do like roll racing yeah. it's pretty strong yeah. what do you have for fuel 2600s i have 2600 uh cc injectors and, and uh, the fuel system i have a uh, brushless pump yeah the brushless bugatti pump right when we first filmed a video uh -huh. uh you were talking about like the idea of bringing brushless pumps to Evos. Oh yeah. And it's crazy like now like a few years later like it's actually here you know. Yeah. So because we were looking at the skyline, remember? Yeah, Mark's exactly. Skyline. Yeah, because these these things are so long like. Right. It's like this big. You got to mount it. Yeah, so you can't. Put, I mean, they actually they're coming out with uh, smaller brushless pumps, but even then you kind of have to control it with the ECU. Oh okay. Yeah, the PWM. So. Nice. They they're gonna sell like. I knew he was gonna do that. Yeah, he was, he was staring for, hard. Yeah, he was like, let me get in the video room. He's like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, let me show you a car, dog. Right? <laughs> but, no, the bristles, I mean, that surge tank is good for 1400, so my fuel system's like, um, I might need want to go like eight injectors. Yeah. But right now, like. You would go eight injectors? I would, but the ECU is limited for six right now. Oh. And we can't run six, so. <laughs> I, I no, that's, that's the plan is I want to run an eight second pass on this turbo. Yeah. The drag strip, and then once I do that, you know, with this like this setup with the radios and all that, once right. I get that goal, I'm gonna just send the whole thing. Like yeah. I'll redo the, you know, refresh the block again. Right. You know, put new rings, um, put a bigger turbo on it. That's crazy. 72, 75, or that 76? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you'd say precision, you think? Yeah, I would say precision. I was thinking about going to Zona, but then I'd have to get a new manifold. And oh, true, yeah. That's they too much. They do sell T4, but they don't sell T4, like, divided. It's T4 open. Oh. But I might be able to ask Zona to see if they want to do, like, a T4 divided. Who knows? Hmm. Something I forgot to mention, too, is you got these JDM evo 7 or evo 8 seats from japan these ones hug you way tighter than the usdm seats you would never think that like they actually look or i mean fit differently but feel way different sam ran inside to use the restroom real quick but guys to see this car to where it is now from where it came when i first met sam this car made i think like i think it made like 550 and then he turned it up to 740 and now for it to make well before when it was at 45 pounds it made 898 in third gear now at 51 or 52 pounds, who knows what it's really making. Sam isn't really sure if it's past the turbo's efficiency range either, or it actually is making more power. Sometimes if you up the boost and you're, you know, beyond the efficiency range, you're just pushing more air in the engine, but it doesn't actually make more power, but it feels absolutely insane. I'm so stoked for him and just like proud as a friend, like how far his engine building process has come and this car and just like everything. Alrighty guys, we are heading back home. We are in the Evo on the Terrible 91. Oh, see, this is why it's terrible. It's slowing down. Alrighty guys, we're back on the road. It was amazing to be able to see that car running and just experiencing it. 
I've never been in any car that hits 50 pounds of boost. And guys, if you're watching this, if you have the chance to ride in a car that makes over 45 or anything like that, you need to. Because, you know, 20 to 30 PSI of boost in a four cylinder is fun. But once you crack like 40, 45, 50, man, it is a whole different experience and you guys need to experience it. But right now, guys, I'm running back home. I gotta go pick up my girl. We got some errands to run and I don't want to bore you guys with my day in the life stuff. So I think this is a great place to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it made sense. You know, like I said, my buddy Sam has a shop, so very soon we're gonna be going through this car, basically turning a stock Evo 9 into, you know, a 600, 650 wheel horsepower uh, build. And, you know, eventually we'll do a build 2.0 and not anything near as crazy as Sam's car. Probably want to make like 740, 750 in that range, but that's way later down the road. There's a lot this car needs before then. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more videos coming your guys' way. Go show some love to uh, Sam's shop page. Give him a follow. He's done so much with that car. So much hard work, dedication. Hands down, one of the best builders in SoCal. Like, dude used to work for D Sport Tech Magazine. If you guys live in the area, or you guys have been an OG in the car community, you guys know what that is. He used to be an engine builder there at the machine shop in Tech Magazine. And, you know, days like today just like re spark or revitalize the love I have for Evos. And just, it's been a long journey, guys. You know, if you guys have watched this channel for a long time, it's been a long time coming, and we're finally going to do this. We're finally going to tear this car down and do something cool with it. And, you know, whether you're an old subscriber or a new one, I can't wait to show with you guys. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down your favorite part of the video. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.